Good morning, friends. How are you doing today? Today, we are going to continue learning about zoo animals. You've learned about a lot of different types of zoo animals. Today, we are going to read about some. We are going to read about how different zoo animals feel. Hmm, how do you know how something feels? There's words that describe how things feel, and you use your touching sense to see how things feel. I'm going to read a story with you, and I'm going to stop and ask you questions about how different things on animals may feel. Let's get started. The book is called At the Zoo by Bright Baby Touch and Feel. At the Zoo. What do you think the book will be about? What is on the cover of this book? It looks like a baby lion. Did you know that baby lions are called cubs? Do you think this book will be about cubs? Let's find out. Here's our first page. It says the big cat lioness has a roar that's loud and scary. Her claws are super sharp and her coat is very hairy. Hmm, what do you think super sharp means? It can mean super pointy. Her claws are like her hands. She crawls on her claws and her nails on her claws are super pointy. It could hurt you. Her coat is very hairy. Her coat is her fur, like our skin. How do you think it feels by looking at it? It looks very soft. Soft is a word to describe how something feels. Good job, friends. Let's keep going. Ooh, what color is this? Green. The scaly green lizard eats his lunch on the run, snapping up some flies in the hot desert sun. One word that I just read that describes how the lizard feels is scaly. What do you think scaly means? Scaly means bumpy. Have you ever felt something that's bumpy? Would you like to touch a lizard? Here's our next zoo animal. The sleepy-eyed panda loves to munch and chew. He likes nothing better than his favorite snack, bamboo. Bamboo is a type of plant. He's eating a type of plant. What colors do you see on this panda? You can see white and black. And this panda has fur too. How do you think the fur on this panda feels? It looks pretty soft. Another word we can use is fluffy. Does the panda look fluffy? Yes, he does. The big wrinkly elephant stomps with heavy feet. Her long bendy trunk helps her drink and eat. Can you see where the trunk on the elephant is? on her face. A word to describe how this elephant feels is wrinkly. Wrinkly means you see all of the lines on the elephant. It might be bumpy too. It's a soft type of bumpy. If you moved your hand on the elephant, you would feel the lines, but the elephant is soft. Here's our last zoo animal. Do you know the zoo animal? This animal is called a zebra. What colors do you see on the zebra? You can see black and white. What other animal did you just learn about that is also black and white? A panda. Let's read now. The speedy striped zebra is nimble on his hooves. See a black and white flash across the plain as he moves. The book says that the zebra is very speedy. Speedy means fast. Look at the fur on the zebra. How do you think the zebra feels? Do you think the zebra feels hard or soft? The zebra also looks like he feels soft. Friends, we've just learned about so many different zoo animals. Some were soft and some were bumpy. Now at home, I'd like you to look around your house and look for different things and see how they feel. I want you to practice learning words to help you describe how things feel. Remember soft, bumpy, you tell me some more. All right, friends, until next time. Bye.